Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Good evening. Yeah. So far and so well. Thank you so much for asking. How was your day, teacher? Tell us. It was good. Uh, nothing. Nothing new. Nothing much to complain about. Uh, standard things, you know, like uh, working, working as uh, as I usually do. So it was. I mean, but in general terms, it was great. I cannot, I cannot complain, right? So, yeah, same thing in the traffic, uh, classes. That was good. <laughs> how, about, cool. how about you? Actually, today it was a little bit busy because we are under a new business. We have a familiar business. And uh, today we were working, uh, trying to plan different things to verify uh, the budget that we have already to invest um, and to increase okay. incomes. And actually, we were working on that. And, but all the rest of the day, that was so funny. Okay. <laughs> A little bit stressful, never less funny. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, you know, it's, I think it's as long as we don't have, you know, any, uh, let's say, uh, bad experiences during the day, we can call it, you know, a, a great day, right? Because then uh, when you work, it's normal things, right? Just uh, it's like a routine. Obviously, there are some uh, uh, changes or different things we do. But in the end, it's the, every, every day is the same thing, right? So then I will have to work, uh, commute from one place to another, and then uh, get home, rest, talk to the family. And... But you know, as, as everything goes fine, and it's going to be great. Okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> totally Good. great. Yes. Uh, hello, Ivan. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. How are you? All right. How was your day? Well, wow. beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, today was a funny day with my co-workers. Okay. Because we went to the beach all the day. Oh, all right. so Good. So you had, you, good. you had you had a day relax. You had a day off. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Today my day off. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we chair relax from so so much work that we had to do all day. Mm -hmm. And I had a good day with them. Yeah, it's necessary not to to do something. Yes, it's necessary. Right? It's necessary. Yeah. It's necessary. Yeah. Okay. It was a great day today. Great, that's good. Hello, Oscar Alexander. How are you doing? Do you have any questions about yesterday's class or something? Hello, teacher. Hi, good how evening. are you? Good evening. Good evening. Close my partner, Paul. Okay, good. Nice. And you, Oscar. Hello, Oscar Dulio. Tulio Amador. That uh, I've heard that last name in a guy from Nicaragua. So this is the like the second or third time I see this this last name. Hello, Oscar. I think he's still logging in. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. While the others show up, let me uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Fine. Okay, great. I do I just always uh, uh finishing uh, uh to prepare my, my sandwich for uh <laughs> taking dinner, you know, that's why I didn't uh, answer it. So yeah, that, that's all right. Don't worry. So you were grabbing a bite. You know, Correct. To, yes. To, at least you know to survive this hour. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Good. That's nice. Okay, good. Hey, Jose. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Good. Good. Okay. Everything okay. Yeah. That's great. 
how was how was the weather where uh, in the in the areas where you are? Is it hot, cool? Like it's hot. Hot, huh? Yes. Hot. It's a uh, on Malapa. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm here in Lourdes, and no, it's really really hot. Well, in the morning is, you know, this area is similar to a desert. You know, sometimes in the early in the morning is kind of cool, and then you know, for like from two a.m. to Four or five a.m. But where are you live? Where are you living in Lourdes? Oh, uh, near the near the Stony Centro. And then, oh. uh, and then, but the rest of the day is really hot. It's really hot. Like, like if you were in the desert, dry and I'm hot. Here. I okay. live in uh, I live in Campo Verde. Ah, okay. That's uh yes. on when you're going to uh Sonsonate, right? Yes. On that road, yes. So okay, we we we're, we're almost Colina. neighbors. <laughs> we're almost we, neighbors. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to your house to learn more English. To, to practice more, yes. That yeah. would be good. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay. So <laughs> or, or you know what we can do is get together one day and and go in the traffic so we can practice for more than an hour sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, waiting in traffic. Yes. Okay, that's good. Hello, Melissa. Melissa Stephanie. Okay, we're gonna give her some time to to get ready. Siomara. Okay. Well, I sent you the the list of uh the the list of verbs. Did you take a look at it? Yes, I uh I it's in the WhatsApp group. It's a very uh, extensive list. Obviously, you don't have to uh, to to memorize it. I think I'm gonna show you that one first, just for you to have an idea how how to use it, right, and how to practice with them. For example, this one here. Uh, this is the beginning, it says common prepositions, combinations, followed by germs. What you see uh, on the left, be excited, be worried, always, always you're gonna use, I am excited about taking this class. I am worried about paying my bills this month. Okay, I am worried about uh, taking the math exam okay always going to be excited about i am worried about and then the verb in ing if you see this this is this are like already made already made sentences all you have to do is to change the verb okay and you say i am excited about a uh, going on vacation i am excited about a uh, let's say taking another English course, okay? I am excited about uh, starting my new job. So you're gonna do change this. Complain about or complain of, okay? Complain of doing this. Uh, he's always complaining about doing his work, okay? He's, she's always complaining of doing the dishes okay so then you can practice with this you're going to use always the prepositions are about about of for a uh, from in of a uh, on insist on and to to with these verbs be accustomed to in addition to be committed to, be devoted to, look forward to, object to, be opposed to, and be used to. With this two, four, six, eight words, then the purpose, the preposition to is going to be followed by ing verb. Okay? So then in that case, you just have to use it. Then when you're talking about um, 
a gerund with the verb go. Okay, go. Then you have to say with an image. Okay, sorry guys, we had a strange visitor in this moment. It was working. Okay, then we have uh then we have the actions with go, uh, but this is especially for outdoor recreational activities, you know, go bird watching, go boating, go bowling, go camping, go canoeing. Uh let's go dancing this weekend. Okay, I haven't gone dancing for a while. Okay, uh, no, well, I like to go fishing, uh, like I said, uh, uh, to the lake. Uh, let's go hiking. Let's go to Santa Ana Volcano, and then we can go uh, go climbing, okay, go hiking, go hunting. Hunting, I think you can practice in some private areas. Go jogging, all right? So these are activities that you're going to use using the verb go. Um, the special expressions. Okay, you want to see we had fun playing. We had a good time playing. We had a good time singing. Okay, we had a good time singing at the karaoke. Okay, uh, we had a good time playing uh, video games. Uh, we had a good time watching movies. We had a good time uh, talking and enjoying a cup of coffee and then you can see the others this is just for you too common verbs followed by infinitives these are the most common verbs okay after i show you the list hope plan intend decide promise agree to offer refuse then you're gonna use promise to come Agree to come, offer to come, refuse to come. Teacher. Yes. But where, where is the exact the exact part that uh, I was that you were giving us uh, yesterday? I mean, the one that you said that uh, when you uh, use it with an infinitive, it means something. But then you use it with the ing form, uh, means something different. Where is that part? Here. Right there. Here. Oh. oh okay. Oh. So here says the uh, common verbs followed by either infinitives or gerunds. Okay, you have this one, began to rain, it began raining. It started to work, it started working. Okay, this is the same meaning. So there is no difference between began to rain and began raining. And this is the one group of verbs with a different meaning, remember and regret, forget and try. Judy always remembers to lock the door. Okay. And then Sam forgets, Sam often forgets to lock the door. And then I remember seeing the Alps for the first time. The sight was impressive. And then I'll never forget seeing the Alps for the first time. So these are four examples, and this is the explanation. Judy always remembers to lock the door. Remember to perform responsibility, duty, or task. I always remember to connect before eight. I always remember to upload this video after class. Okay, I always remember to uh, check the lesson before I start my classes. Okay, so this is something that you remember to perform a responsibility, a duty, or a task. Okay, I always I always remember to, uh, let's say, uh, brush my teeth before I go to bed. Okay, and then I remember seeing is remember, recall, bring back to your memory something that happened in the past. I remember uh, visiting my grandma when I was six years old in Usulutan. 
Okay, this is, you know, like a nostalgia that you remember about something. And there are some other examples here. Okay, with uh, regret. Uh, I'm trying. And this is a reference, a reference list of verbs. The verbs that you see here on the left are followed by gerunds. And there is an example, admit, he admitted stealing the money. He admitted uh, coming late this morning. He admitted cheating in the test. He admitted driving fast. Okay, so then you can practice with all these verbs. Uh, the ones that have an asterisk here, is because you can use uh, the two forms, right? It started, it started raining or it started to rain. And this is another reference list, similar to this, but this one is with verbs followed by infinitives. I can afford to buy, they agree to help, she appears to be tired. I'll arrange to meet you at the airport. And there you have, a this is, you know, like, it's a reference, okay? Reference list, okay? So that when you have a doubt, well, actually, if you get to, to manage to use these verbs, you, you will, I mean, you will be able to, to speak English, you know, in in any topic, right? So then, because the material in this in this list, it's a lot. There are many phrases that will help you to communicate better, okay? So uh, use it, take a look at it uh, individually, you know, during the day. And if you have, when you have questions, you can uh, make a reference, you can send me a message and let me know if you have a doubt so that we can, if I we can solve it before the class, we do it, if not, we do it here during the class, okay? So then uh, it's in the WhatsApp group, the list. So you can download it and, you know, uh, save it in a, I don't know, in a folder in the computer or in your phone so that you can have it at hand. When you have some time, you can get this list and start practicing with these verbs. And try to use, you know, your your own ideas as well. Questions? Okay, then uh, just take a look at it, as I said before, for you to familiarize, right, with the... Uh, okay. Okay, by Giovanni, share. Thank you, Giovanni. You already shared the link to join the WhatsApp group. Yes, and then uh, so that you can have it. Okay, now we're going to watch a uh, video. Now this is for section two. We're not able to listen, teacher. Yeah. Um, right now we will. There you go. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today, we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. 
For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year, and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people okay, see, for example, how they are using the phrases in order to, for, okay, because that's actually, you know, the purpose, the purpose of doing things, okay? Then uh, that's actually what the lesson is going to be about. It was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay, so you see that they were using the expression in order to. In order to is a, it's a, let's say a form to express the purpose of what we do. And remember that, I think that we were talking about reasons and, and purposes, right? When you say, why do you study English? You can answer in two ways. Then you can give reasons, which is a, maybe a longer explanation. You say, because I think uh, it's a, a interesting language. And nowadays, it is also important in the, for business, for studies, and you know for work. So then you're going to use that one, you know, like the reasons why you study English. But if you go specifically, right, and say, why do you study English? And say, to get a better job. Uh, then you go in order to get a better job. That's the purpose, the specific. Okay. Obviously, maybe there are other reasons, but the main purpose, to get a better job. Or probably somebody could say, ah, to know more about that culture. Okay. Uh, to increase my cultural level, uh, to probably to, to do something different, uh, to learn another language. So then this is more a more specific uh, purpose, right? Of what you have, uh, or why you have decided to do something. Okay, it could be English, it could be, why do you do what you do? 
Okay, why do why do we work? What is the purpose of working? For some people it could be making money. Okay, for other people, get money to eat. Okay, uh, to probably also to to bring food to the family, to pay the bills. Okay, so then these are more purposes. Okay, so that, that would be here when they say by the end of this lesson, participants will understand how to use uh, the infinitive clauses to describe a purpose. Okay. Now, this is the, the main uh, topic. Also related to the first one. using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive. Gonna let it load. I'm going to reload it. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type okay, if you see the suggestions on our discussion box.
If you see in this case, for example, that usually the the uh, the optional part when we talk about purpose in order in order is usually omitted, right? Uh, because the in order makes the sentence more formal. Okay, and then uh, but if you want to use it, there is no problem. So it's going to be the same meaning, right? When you use two. Uh, as it says, when you begin the sentence with two, okay, when you begin the sentence with two, then it's going to be because we're talking about the purpose of something. And the here. Okay, so we have to run a popular internet cafe. What do we have to do? To run a popular internet cafe is a good idea to have late opening hours. So that means that your a cafe is going to be open until late. How would you say this? The same idea in other words. Think about another way to say the same thing, okay, the same thing, but with a different structure. Not to, not to, let's say not too formal, okay? May I say to have a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours? That would be, yeah, that would be a similar structure. You only change to run and then you say to have. I mean, it's, but it's, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's the, you can say to have a popular internet cafe. The, the difference is that you own, to own, to have, to run, but to run is like to administer, to manage. To manage could be another one. Okay, so you see there are four or five verbs that you can use to substitute run. Uh, you could use, yes, I don't know if you want to say something else. Yeah, um, I was wondering about having a late opening hours allow you to have a popular internet cafe. That could be, right? That could also be using... Um, a allowing could be just like the like the subject of the sentence, right? At the beginning, using the ing form, using a gerund. Okay, good. Remember that when you see, for example, the in gerunds, ing forms, it is important to make the difference that when you see an ing, is not something that is happening in the moment. Okay, there is a difference between gerund and progressive tense. Do you remember that? Yes, everybody, or for example, when you say I am working, okay, that is present progressive. I am talking, I am speaking, I am listening, I am looking at you, I am uh, teaching, uh, I am learning. Okay, so these are activities that are happening in the moment. So that is present progressive. When you see the verb to be and the verb with ing, okay? But when you use, for example, uh, well, a owning um, a popular internet cafe may take a lot of work by having it open until late. Okay, but those ing forms that I'm using there are not related to something that is happening now. Okay, those are called gerunds. Okay, gerunds. Um, let me see what else. For example, the when you have prepositions, I think I told you yesterday when you have prepositions to uh to in on of 
after, before, without. Uh, if you are going to use a verb, the verb has to be in ing. All right? Then that is, for example, but it's not present for resume. Okay. Uh, after listening to the news, okay, after listening, because after is a preposition, the verb has to be in ing. But it's nothing related to something that is happening in the moment. After listening. After graduating from high school, I began university. Okay, so then after graduating, before finishing university, I started working. So you see, I started working. Start and the verb followed by ng that is in the list that I share with you. So those are gerunds, right? So this is for you to have clear that when you want to express something that you are doing in the moment, you have to use a form of the verb to be. I am working, I am eating, I am having breakfast, okay? She is having breakfast, he is having breakfast, we are having breakfast. Just that, okay? Just a, as a reminder. Now, in the other one, you say to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have a fashion, uh, have fashionable service. Okay, what if we use here to have uh, a nice team? Can you give me some examples? For example, to have, let's say, to have the best basketball team. Think about one sentence. It needs to have people, people, I don't know, to make complement. great. To what? Teacher, can be, can be too great, uh, to make uh, a great, Basketball, uh, basketball group, I think. Basketball okay. team. Uh, basketball, basketball team is a great idea to have a better uh, um, coach. Okay, yes, it's good. They say to make up, make up is to conform, okay, to, to reunite, okay, to make up a uh, let's say a great or a good or the best basketball team, it is a good idea or it is a great idea to have a better coach. Yes. Okay, good. I mean, you can use different ideas. The, the important point here is that you use the correct structure, the organization of the sentence. For example, uh, for example, for a for a country to be economically, uh, let's say, to be eco economically independent, that is the first sentence. For a country, and using this one, the third sentence, for a country to be economic, economically independent, what would be the complement? You can change all this. Just uh, what is the a good complement for that? For a country to be economically independent. It, need it to needs have to have people with more education. It is, Ivan, and then look, Jose. Tell me, Ivan. Repeat your sentence, Ivan. It needs to have uh, our country uh, with the economy, with the best economy. Mm -hmm. No, you said about education, something about education. You said with the some... education? 
Uh -huh. Who said something about education? I need to have a, we have, we can have a good education in our country. Okay, when you say, for example, for a, uh, for a country to be economically independent, it is necessary to have well uh, educated people, well prepared people. Okay, that could be, okay, could be one. Okay, yes, Joselino, you were going to say something too? Yes, similar example. Mm -hmm. It needs to have uh, more people with the education. Okay, yeah, it needs to have people with more people with more education, people. right? Because we have yes. a, a lot of people, but we need more, more. okay, more, uh, profession, hey, more professional people. Yes. yes, that's true. Yes. Okay, very good. Teacher, yes, uh, can be. It's important to have uh, a good democracy for the people. Yes, also that could be also a good thing, you know, because that uh, that makes you grow, right? Yeah. Yes, Carla. My example is different. To start an account on service, it's a good idea to find a well-known location and study very many laws. <laughs> yes, that's very important, the laws, right? Yeah, because, I mean, in, in order to, not to make mistakes, right? Because it's important to have. You know, I guess that all the professions need to know about laws and education. You know, for example, that means that, uh, for example, the if you want to be a, a doctor, you need to know about the laws, right? Uh, and also you need to know something about teaching because you need to teach people how to take care of themselves, healthy, about their health. If you are an accountant, okay, uh, you also need to know about the laws. Okay, how to pay the taxes, what is correct, what is not correct, okay? And, and then and also you need to know also about teaching because, you know, accountants sometimes teach the people how to, how to take a good, uh, how to take good care of their money, okay? So then I think that all the careers should be accompanied by laws, and teaching, right? Because we are always teaching something as parents, as friends, as brothers, as whatever. So we always need to, to teach something good or at least to give examples. Okay. So then uh, anybody else who wants to give me another example, please, you can write here in the chat. Sure. I'll hear, have, sorry, for, to great, for, for it is a great idea to give some gifts. Yes, this is a good one, uh, Hector. Yes, Oscar. For example, can I say for a country to be uh, uh, independent, it, it would be great to uh, change the educational system. I mean, uh, to have a similar life, like the one that has the US, because they, uh, as far as I know, the measures last only three years, so that if, if they are, uh, they last shorter, I think people can encourage to, to enroll into the, into the studies, you know? Yes, I know it, yes, does it make sense? Of course, that's a lot. Uh, I don't know Just if the, copy. I mean, the copy sentence the is, yeah, the, the sentence is correct, no problem, right? Yes, it's good. Actually, that's the idea. And also the 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 content of, the, of your sentence is also good. Yes, definitely the educational system needs to be modified or updated uh, or totally changed. I don't know, but something has to be done about the uh, education system in this country. Is, is, oh. is that right to say uh, people uh, can encourage themselves? Does it make sense? Can encourage? Yeah, yeah, I can. You can encourage yourself when you said, I can do this. Like, you know, to have like self-motivation. You say, I'm ah, self, right. yes, right. self, right. you to be self-motivated. Uh-huh, yes. All right, all right. Thank and you. then you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes when we don't have anybody else, we can do it. Yes. Okay, people, good. 
uh, write sentences. If you uh, uh, have no chance to use the, the mic, you can use the chat and say, in order to have the best basketball team, it is important to have a good trainer. Yes. Okay, and infrastructure, if you want, try to use vocabulary, it doesn't matter. It can be, it's important to have a good, uh, like I said, it has to have good uh, gymnasiums, right? Or or stadiums, okay? Or uh, lo locations to train also, okay? The, all the necessary equipment, <clears throat> food, uh, nutritionist, so any idea that comes, that will increase also your vocabulary. Uh, to reduce pollution in our country, it is a good idea to modernize public transportation. Definitely, Francisco, that's a great idea. I totally agree with you. You know that the, for me also, the in order to have a, let's say, a better traffic, you know, it is necessary, okay? It is uh, vital to uh, change the public transportation, okay? To have a new uh, public transportation system. Instead of building more streets, we can build more and more and more streets and at the end it's going to be the same problem. Because more streets, more cars, and then, so then uh, that is, I think it's not a real solution, right? But you know, to, if uh, if you if I drive, uh, but if I had a I don't know a train or a nice bus from you know that comes from Santa Ana to to Las Delicias, you know, I would go by bus, right, and then or or train, you know, like they do in uh, in Houston, for example, they have a very nice train that goes from from one uh, from one end to the other uh, across a uh, Houston city, and you only pay like a dollar and something, I guess. And then you take it and you can cross the, the city in, in minutes, right? And then uh, you can, the, when it stops by, you can drop off yourself at any point. And then uh, when it gets to the end, the the train has the, then uh, the, the train doesn't have to, Turn, uh, turn around, just the pilot changes the cabin. <laughs> he comes back from this one and goes to the other one and then starts driving back. So I guess, you know, that is something that that is very um, practical, very pragmatic. And then, and I think it's easy to, and a lot of people go in the in the train. So I think, you know, that, that could be more probably profitable for the, for this, for the country, for the people, and for the owners of this transportation. That's a good one. Okay, you see, good ideas. Nice. One more. Uh, for a life, for a life would be with F. To be healthy, it's nice to do, it's nice to do some exercise, definitely. No exercise, no healthy life, people. Believe it or not, it is true. What else? Ah, oh, there's a key here, another one. For a transportation service to succeed, it has to have many vehicles in excellent conditions and properly trained personnel. Very good. Yes, Carla, Renee, that's true. I also agree with you. Very nice sentence. Okay, good. You see, that's, that's the idea, right? How to say for this, and, and, re and remember that these structures that you are using here, you know, it's not a, are more complex, right? Than the ones that we use in another level. So remember that you can say this, the same things, but probably using more words <clears throat> and more basic words, right? In this one, we are using a little more complex, uh, high level vocabulary. Okay, there is an exercise after this. Right, uh, to put in practice some ideas. Goodness, time flies here. 
Then we have a select, select an option. What would be the complement for a health club to attract new people? You need to hire. It's a good idea. Uh, which one? Sarah? Sarah, no. So it needs to have a great music and lighting. Okay, it needs to have a great music and lighting. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's a health. It's a health. It's a health. I only say, I only saw club too. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, another one. Who's speaking? I don't hear very well. Very far. Oh, Carla? Yes. It has to offer the latest type of equipment. It has to offer the latest types of equipment. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, that makes more sense. <laughs> the other one select in order to run a profitable restaurant. Profitable restaurant in order to run a profitable restaurant. You need to hire a talent chef teacher. Yes, you need to hire right. a talented chef. Okay, talented chef. Yeah. About to establish to establish a successful new dance club. Teacher, it needs to have great music and lightning. Light okay, yes, that's the one, right? It needs to have great music and lightning. Yes, this is a dance club. For a coffee bar to succeed, it's a good it's idea, a good idea to, to offer the service. Okay, to it's a good idea serve. to offer the service too. Desserts, desserts. Remember, dessert and desserts. Okay. And in order for a magazine to succeed, it has to provide useful information. You has to provide useful information. Yes. And the last one to run a successful clothing boutique. You need to keep up with the latest styles. Okay, you need to keep up with the latest style. Okay, good. And then we have all of them correct. Okay, so remember, um, always, right? I insist, the paraphrasing. Okay, for uh, for an English academy, academy, okay, for an English academy to attract new people, then it has to offer the latest techniques in teaching. Okay, it has to offer the uh, the best. Uh, let's say the best prepare uh, English teachers, right? So then you can have followed the same idea, only change some words, and in that way you can practice and memorize the structure, okay? So this is a technique that, can use, that you can use to practice. Now, uh, always talking about success, there is some vocabulary related to this word. <clears throat> Qualities for success. Now, while I'm getting this ready, what are some qualities that we need to be successful? Work hard, what else? If you want to be successful in life. We need diligence. Diligence. Be responsible, yes. What else? Agents. Agents? Yeah, sorry for a life for a life to be healthy. It is nice to do some exercise. Yes. 
Sorry for that, but it's true, Hector. Okay, what else? Be a good broker with experience. Be a good worker. Worker with experience. Yes. Yes, that's true, right? An experience too. Good experience. Yes, good experience, be a good worker, hard, good worker, right? And like you said, also diligence and responsible. Now, this is to be successful, right? But here that you will also see some words related to success, which is similar. And you started to to change the Hi. mindset. What, what? The, that's the to have the mindset, right? The mindset is to, to change the mind, to change the mentality. Yes, to change the mindset is that is a uh, essential too. Okay, let's listen to the video. Qualities are important for success. Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, Slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well-written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. <clears throat> now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Okay, take a look at the vocabulary. No questions? Sure. For, for example, what does the gorgeous uh, adjective? Uh, gorgeous. Means, for, for example, uh -huh. uh, no, I, I mean, what does it have to do with uh, uh -huh. having success? It depends. I guess that it depends on the field of uh, of work, right? Because also, the, I was at the beginning, it's also fashionable, right? So what does fashionable have to do? Uh, probably with the style, right? It depends that when you are already, uh, and depends on the, also the culture. Uh, for some people, you know, the fashion is very important. If you are a successful person, like when you see uh, probably these guys, the, like I said, uh, rock stars or pop singers, you know, they are always fashionable, that they want to be glamorous and look very nice. You know, in that in that uh, field, it is important to be fashionable and that they look gorgeous, right? Like, you know, in the mag magazine, it's, oh, Jennifer Lopez looked like she was 20 because, you know, she looked gorgeous. She was uh, beautiful that night. It's just uh, probably, you know, uh, marketing, right? In that sense. So it is important for them and it has it is related to success in that area probably uh, also gorgeous could be in a good sense uh, imagine that you are a um, let's say the ceo of a company okay but you know you don't only see you not only uh, um, have a successful career but you are also you have a very nice physical condition and probably you are 50 or 55 years old. So I say, oh, you look gorgeous. Man. You look really nice in perfect condition beside the, the kind of job that you have. So that means that gives an impression that this person is well disciplined and stuff like that. So I think it's just a, a matter of uh, how some people see uh, success. For other people it might not be important, right? The, physical appearance. So I think it's, that's why it is there.
uh, another, for example, being a slender, you know, like to be, you know, fit, right? Kind of fit. Uh, clever to be smart, charming to have a, the to be charismatic, knowledgeable to know a, a lot about many things, to be to have the capacity to persuade people, uh, affordable, so that you know to have the economical solvents, right? To to do things. It means, for example, attractive is another one. I don't know if uh, it depends too in the on the field, right? I but that's what I was saying, right? It depends on the on the how can I say this? The importance mindset. that you uh -huh, the mindset, but the importance also that you assign or a lot uh, to each aspect of your life. For some people, I said it's very important the physical appearance. For some others, not that much, right? Entertaining, yeah, person that is nice to, to be with. Informative, right, that you can, uh, you have the right information to give to people. And well-written is a person who has, uh, let's say, a good, is well-educated, right, in words, in letters. Okay, so basically that's words related to, uh -huh. Um, and with regards to tough, how do you relate it to, to success? Which one? Oh, tough. 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 Oh, because sometimes, you know, you can be flexible, right? You may be flexible, but sometimes you need to be, you know, hard, tough, okay? And be determined, okay? That once you have made a decision, you don't have to go back on your words because, you know, if if you have a group of people behind you, if you are changing your mind every other day, so they say, we, we never know what this guy wants, right? Sometimes you have to be demanding, tough, okay? So that's why, but that doesn't mean to be, you know, uh, to be cruel, right? It's just to be sometimes uh, demanding, serious. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, like some math teachers sometimes. All right, let me see. I guess that we're gonna finish with this. It's the newest place in town. But in this one, we're going to. To listen to a conversation where ways of giving reasons are used. Okay, not purpose, reasons. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's ne never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so pop popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Hmm. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. Do you want to go some night? Okay. So this is, for example, the, they say it's the newest in place. Why is the in in quotation? Yes. 
does does the word exist in in boga? Uh huh. Exactly. It's involved, right? It's involved. Yes. What is oh, in? Oh. For example, if we talk about clothes, uh, what is in now? Is there any special, like say a clothes style, that we can say that is in? No, girls, any special kind of clothes, shoes, sandals, jeans. For example, I see that uh, right now I have seen, for example, some uh, young girls wearing, for example, uh, loose jeans, not too tight, okay? Not too stretch. Now they are uh, loose, loose jeans. I don't know if it if that is in if it is a new trend, but I can see now some ladies and girls wearing jeans, but not too tight. Okay, so that could be maybe a new fashion. Okay, but yes, when we say in, it's when something is involved, right? So then we have the soul club. They are have fabulous music. It's never crowded. It's easy to get in. There is always a long wait outside. My favorite club. I like it because it's always crowded. It's always packed. Packed is very full. And I think everything, everything is brand new. Brand new is that ugh, it's the, you just bought it, right? Like a brand new car is a 2024. If you have it now, that is a brand new car. Okay, a lot of fashionable people go there. Uh, this is what we're talking. You can see the people, the kind of dress, the uh, clothes they are wearing. They look fashionable, right? They they like that. They like to wear brands, okay, that are expensive maybe. And it's called the Casablanca, the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen okay exactly do you want to go some night i thought you're never asked okay sure. yes uh do they mean when they say uh the reason i i heard the reason people go there is just to be seen i, I mean do they mean uh to to brag about or to be exposed to be probably just to show off, you know, so that uh, to be, I mean, to expose themselves, okay, to oh. show off, to show off, okay. It's right. like you know, like if I buy a, I don't know, maybe a, a Lacoste shirt, okay, and imagine that I, if I am teaching here, I am you know trying to show my my chest so that you can see that I that I have here a a lizard. <laughs> It's not an alligator, right? A crocodile is a lizard here. So by just to show off, yeah, they suggest just to my shirt to be seen here in class. Okay. Now oh, this one is only seven dollars. Okay. But those are, I don't know, fifty, sixty dollars or seventy, maybe. Okay, yeah, just to show off, just to be seen. And it, it happens. It happens. But sometimes, you know, some people make business out of that. Okay, people, just let me check the the list just to make sure that I know that. I already had a, a previous one, so not to worry. Okay. So... We have Francisco Antonio, right? This teacher is here. Is here. Yeah, Giovanni is here too. Hector Ivan is here. Ivan Ibrahim too. Oh, Joel Emanuel. Joel, well, yes, Joel is here. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Yeah, he's here too. Joselino is here. Yes. Julio Cesar also. Yes, Willis Cesar is here. Carla Celina. Carla, Carla, yes, is here too. Carla Ellen, Carla Renee, Catherine Lisbeth. 
Catherine, Catherine. Yes, yeah, she's here too. Luis Eduardo. Luis, Luis, Luis. I didn't see Luis today. Okay, Marlene. Yes. Marlene, are you here? No. And then we have Melissa. Present teacher. Yes. Michelle, oh, Michelle hasn't shown up. Neftali. Yes, Present Neftali is teacher. here. Neftali is here. Oscar Alexander, yes. Oscar Abdulio, yes, is here too. Yes. And Romeo Vladimir. Present. Yes. Sara. Elisa, yes. Present. Sophia Elizabeth. Then Sophia, Sophia. No. And Wendy Paola. Yes. Right. Siomara. Sio, Sio, Siomara. Present teacher. Yes, I see you now. Jenny. Jenny Present. Carolina. Okay, very good people. Okay. Then uh, just because you have been good students this week, my first week, I'm going to give you an extra day off. So tomorrow, no classes, okay? Until Monday. <laughs> so you're going to have a three-day weekend, imagine. So no other teacher will do that for his students, right? Just me. Okay, so uh, if you behave good next week, I'm going to give you Fridays off, okay? No, <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. Right. Oh, thank you very much, okay, for your time. In patience, so on Friday, we finish unit, uh, the last uh, unit two, and we begin unit three, and we have the midterm exam next Thursday, okay? So remember, if you have any questions, let me know uh, through the WhatsApp or my personal WhatsApp or whatever, and then we can, I can help you, okay? So have a very good night, nice weekend. See you Happy on weekend. Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you, good night. Everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.